Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's carnival season and with that being said, I had to come and give y'all another DIY carnival wing tutorial using some good old cardboard from Amazon. This time I wanted to recreate one of my favorite celebrity costumes, Rihanna's crop over costume in 2013. It was really an iconic moment, at least in my eyes for sure. Plus, if you don't know, I love anything white. So this costume was literally speaking to my spirit. Anywho, let's get this thing started. What you're going to need is cardboard, pictures of the inspo, glue gun, glue sticks, or E6000 glue, a Sharpie, a box cutter, scissors, a hole punch, 14 gauge wire, wire cutters, elastic bands, ostrich feathers, 12 inch and 16 to 18 inch, goose feathers, rooster feathers, a feather boa, gems, sparkly fabric, plain white fabric, a rhinestone sheet, ribbon, and felt. I got a few of these from my local craft store, so I will try to find something similar for you guys. And then everything else, I'll be sure to link in the description box below. Most of these things I got from AliExpress and Amazon. First things first, I did a rough sketch on the shape that I need to make. It low-key looks like a McDonald's M, but y'all get the gist. And unlike my previous tutorial where the wings were kind of just like straight across, Ree's costume kind of arches over her shoulders like a shoulder piece or in my mind like a cocoon. So that's kind of the shape we want to go for. Instead of drawing it on the cardboard right away, I'm using the wire and shaping it to my body. Sketches are nice and cute, but it also has to make sense with your body. And this way you can make adjustments. To make things easier, I mapped out the wire from the front instead of the back, just because I was struggling to do it on the back. If you have a friend, definitely have them help you do that. But since it was just me, I just did it from the front. Also keep in mind, this is very rough measuring, all right, if we can even call it that. And this is the shape you want to end up with. Be sure to keep adjusting until you have it where you want it. Then you're going to get your wire cutters and cut off the excess wire. From there, we're going to trace the wires outline onto the cardboard and be sure to get cardboard that is large enough to have extra space on either side, top and bottom, every which way. Or you can do like I did and tape the sides of your cardboard together. It would be best to get a larger piece of cardboard specifically for this reason. When I traced out the shape, I realized that it wouldn't fit the first way that I traced it. So I flipped it the other way and luckily it worked out that way. But I do wish I had a little bit more space so I could make the wing maybe a little more longer. From there, I literally freehanded the shape that I had originally sketched and then cut it out with my box cutter. Then I tried it on and when I say tried it on, I kind of just put it behind my back and cut more off of the top because with Rihanna's costume, you can see the back of her head and I wanted the shape to be as close to hers as possible. I'm going to tape down the wire that I measured on my body along with some short pieces of wire just to make the wings sturdy enough to support the feathers and the jewels. And this also helps when you need to like kind of wrap that cocoon shape around. Um, it helps take the form of that shape, if that makes sense. Now, if you have a distinct back and front, the back being what people would see if they were standing behind you, and the front being the side that people would see if they're standing in front of you, you wanna put the wire on the front because the back needs to be completely flat. And since we're gonna be putting the feathers on the front, it's gonna cover all of that wiring. Everything else is going to just look like perfection. Once the wire is taped down, we're going to cover the entire thing with felt. If the sheets were white, I probably would have just went with the felt. But since this was like this off-white ivory color, I wanted this to be stark white. So that's why I used the fabric on top. And the felt also protects you from the sharp edges of the wire and gives you an even base for everything that we're going to be gluing on. Now, I got two types of material. One was non-stretch and the other was stretchy. I used the stretchy because I wanted to make sure the wings were still able to move around. If the wings were going to be like my other tutorial, then the non-stretch material would have been fine. I glued the fabric down on just the sides, but make sure to glue it all over and maybe use E6000 because you want the base to be completely adhered to all of the layers of the wing. That way, when you start gluing the feathers, everything is secure. Now, E6000 takes some time to cure, so I wouldn't recommend doing this if you're planning to do this DIY overnight like me. But if you're doing it in advance, you should be fine. My hole punch was a leather hole maker that I had laying around from when I was in school. You can definitely use scissors to make the holes, but a hole punch just makes it a little more uniform. At this point, I realized I should have put the holes in earlier in the process. I would recommend putting them in the cardboard, then again after taping the wires, just so each step of putting the holes in is seamless rather than a struggle. Since I was going through three different layers of different types of material, 
and with a tool that really had no business being used for this, it was definitely hard to get a hole through, but I eventually got it after some trial and error. Y'all, yeah, baby girl is tired. So I was a little worried that it wasn't gonna be able to like move around a little bit, but she is moving quite fine. I'm really happy to use the um, harder fabric. I'm gonna use this. Well, let me see. Let me see what this looks like first. Uh, this is the back. I made the back nice because I didn't know what I wanted to do with it. And this is the front. She's cute. I got headspace. I think we're good. I got ribbon and I got like this stretchy thing. I think I'm gonna use both. I made four holes in total and inserted the ribbon from the back to the front so that when I tie it, it doesn't force the wing to go in the opposite direction. To get it through the holes, I used a small clothespin and just pushed it through and this is what you should end up with. Now it's time for the fun part, the feathers. I started out using the long ostrich feathers and then I did try on the wig to figure out, oh, not the wig, oh my God. I tried on the, <laughs> the wing to figure out exactly where I wanted the feathers to sit off camera. Hers stopped right around her elbows and I wanted mine to kind of stop around the same place as well. To adhere the feathers, I put the hot glue directly on the stem. The more glue you put on, the better and the more secure the feather will be. On each side of the wing, I use about 10 of the large feathers and then four to six of the um, 12 inch feathers in between so it just look a lot fuller. As you're going through these steps, guys, make sure to try your wings on throughout the process. I was trying them on, but doing it off camera just because I was, you know, making this video, making the wings, making a TikTok. There was just so much going on in my apartment and I didn't want to keep moving the camera back around and the lighting and all that good stuff. So that's why you guys don't see me trying it on. But I was literally trying on every time I did something new. I have to note, don't be afraid to cut the tips off of the feathers if you feel like they're too long. Once those are glued down, I'm going to lay out where I want the goose feathers to be and glue them down with my hot glue gun. I'm using a few of the rooster feathers, six to seven to be exact, to fill in a couple of the gaps and just to add dimension to the wings. You definitely don't have to add these, but I thought they were a cute little addition. Now, thumbs up this video if you love carnival season, the costumes, the vibes, just everything that it brings. I just love, love, love when it's carnival season. I, it's just an immaculate time. I initially wanted to recreate the entire costume in one video. So the bra, undies, headband, like all that stuff. But as most Virgos are, I was being a little ambitious, y'all. Plus, I'm not sure if you guys actually want to see all of that. So definitely comment below if that's something you want to see. And I'll definitely make a separate video for all of those things. I got this rhinestone sheet from the craft store. I actually went to this place called Save a Ton here in New York, um, but you could also probably get these from Michael's or any other craft store that's kind of in your city. And I cut two rows off of it and I'm using that to cover the tips of the feathers at the bottom. In my last DIY video, I didn't show you guys how I did the gems because I didn't really do that many, but this time I'm going to show you just a snippet because I think that's what makes her costume so fire. I'm not going to do too much talking through this because I feel like it's pretty self-explanatory. And like I said before, everything I purchased will be down in the description box for you guys. Unlike my last carnival wing tutorial, I'm actually not attending a carnival this year, but hopefully I can use this next year or, you know, give you guys some insight on making your own costumes for this year and the next year's coming up. Or who knows, maybe a mass camp will invite me on a whim. I, listen, I'm open to anything. Now onto the back, Rihanna has rhinestones all on the back, but I was being lazy and I didn't feel like doing the individual ones along the top. So I decided to get a feather boa and outline it that way. Obviously you can put the rhinestones at the top. It's very, very self-explanatory. You just follow the outline at the top. I forgot to mention that on top of the white fabric, I put this sparkly mesh material on top just for an added sparkle to the wing. I added a few rhinestones to the back as well.
I got this diamond chain and I'm using it to outline the top of the wing under the feather boa. I got this off of AliExpress and it was a perfect addition to really spice up the back of the wing. If I do end up making the rest of the costume, I'll be sure to link it below and in this video once it's up. I added the rest of the feather bow to the bottom of the wing and some square rhinestones to finish it up. And that's it, you guys. Super easy, super cute, and only took me about a day and a half to complete. Of course, if you guys have any questions, feel free to drop them below. Message me on Instagram, wherever. I'm always down to answer a question or two or five, six. Y'all be asking me a lot of questions. Comment below if there are any other wings you would like me to recreate. I know there's a lot of different ones out there. I feel like my next thing may be like those super giant ones, but that's gonna have to be like highly requested because that I know is gonna take me some time and a little bit of coin to, you know, get together. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you're alerted when I post new videos. Thumbs this video up if you really enjoyed this DIY and want to see more. Share this with your carnival buddies so you can create your own costumes for the next carnivals coming up. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.